recording. All right, so this is something that we've always wanted to do and we've tried to do it before and it wasn't the right time and finally... The time has come. Yeah, and... So we've been keeping this a secret for a little bit now, but like Angie said, this is something that's been in the works for years. Part of our plan from, I think 2019, we were planning this. Uh, a lot of you guys were guessing what that was or what our surprise was. And for the most part, no one guessed it right. <laughs> a lot of people thought it was a baby. Maybe we were announcing a pregnancy. And not yet, not yet. We're excited for the future, of course, to have kids someday. Uh, but for now, we want to continue to enjoy each other, enjoy our relationship, continue to explore the world. And so now we're taking that to a whole nother level. And before we do decide to have kids, we do want it, we wanted to do this before we decided to have kids. Yeah. And that is to go nomad. <laughs> Drum roll. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so we're going full nomad. We are officially moving out of our place here in Miami. Miami has been our home, our base for Angie, about 10 or maybe more years for me, the past eight years and so it's been just an incredible home for us but now we want to venture off and see what it's like to live in other places other cities see what the world brings us in terms of experiences and just connections that we can make different friendships and most importantly expanding ourselves and learning more about who we are and who we want to become so this journey that we are about to embark on uh, we want we want to do something different we want to take you along with us on this journey and try to share as much as we can as we experience it for ourselves so little vlogs like this we're trying to also keep it simple and yeah. easy for us so that way we can be efficient because to be honest it's a lot of work to do vlogs we're cinematic not cinematic vlogs cinematic vlogs or even any kind of vlog because it still takes the editing the filming all of that and so we want to try and bring these to you more regularly mm -hmm. and YouTube especially is not you know, our main focus we've always been more on Instagram and so we did do a vlog uh, what, a couple years ago a long time ago yes the Maldives vlog in 2020 if you haven't seen that go check it out check, that was our <laughs> that was our attempt at doing like a, a, an official vlog and honestly it went so well like it has like almost a million views which we didn't even foresee that we just thought okay let's share this and um, and you guys seem to love it so we know that this is something that we should do more of and that's why on this journey <laughs> across the world as we navigate and experience new locations, new destinations. Imagine for the next year, two years, just going all over the world and creating little bases along the way uh, and then sharing that with all of you. So I think it's a once in a lifetime type of thing. Like we wanted to do this before we officially settle down and, and maybe have kids or whatever it is. And so this is that moment. So like Jeremy said, the goal for the next year is to just go to different destinations enjoy it maybe even live like a local there maybe we get an apartment for a month and just enjoy being there differently than what we've done for the past years and ultimately our goal is to one day maybe find a place to make home outside of the u.s mm. this is not a for sure thing but it is one of our goals personally i would love to live in different areas all over the world. I've lived in Colombia, I lived in Colorado, I lived in Miami, and I think that now it's a time to live somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping to find a place that we love as much as we do love Miami. We want to find another place that we could connect to and hopefully maybe one day actually live there. So for the next year, we're going to be going all over the world, experiencing it as a local and maybe finding our future home. And so the past, let's say three months have been pretty crazy and chaotic because we've just been doing our last partnerships that we can do while we're here still based in Miami so we did some cruises we did some uh, quick trips to the Caribbean and we've been just non-stop and so finally 
Our last trip, we just got back from it last week and we've just been packing everything up, getting the house ready. Uh, and it's big, big credit to Angie because I've been working on a lot of different things, editing and getting some stuff mm -hmm. ready for us on that side of things as we progress into this new journey. And she's been literally like- And I've been doing all the packing. Packing so much <laughs> stuff. So she's, I mean, she's just so great at that. Even if I was to pack it, she would probably unpack it and then repack it because she'll do it so much better than and me. And it's also different packing because I've been having to research how to do long-term packing, which I guess is completely different. And I've been trying to do that as good as I can. And now let's sh show you what we've been up to for the past uh, two weeks. And especially for the past week as our home completely transforms into a home, into just boxes. <laughs> Rise and shine. <laughs> One of our last mornings here in Miami. Big day ahead of us today. We are going to be moving some of our stuff to our storage unit, but for now, just waking up. One thing I'm definitely going to miss about this apartment is sunrise views every morning. Good morning, Miami. Angie is surrounded by boxes. <laughs> Looks crazy from here. Yeah. So many boxes. <laughs> And we have Angie the Builder. Right now she's asking for my help. A closet rack. But I gotta film. I told her I gotta film. <laughs> I gotta get this on video because this is a moment right here. Usually I'm the one that builds in this house. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say that? I need that little tool. It doesn't feel like I need it. Uh-oh. Maybe to make it tighter. Two people working on something is always better. And so, Aaron, Angie and I do everything together. So we might as well build together as well. Build our relationship. <laughs> Let's see when Jeremy's actually gonna start building. And here we go. The final product. Look at that. Took us probably about... Shorter than I thought. Seven minutes. That wasn't seven minutes? It was pretty fast. Yeah, look at that. There we go, hopefully it holds. That looks pretty good. Maybe you should stand on it, test it out. No. Crazy. <laughs> Here we are. Most of what I need is in here already. So I have a few things that I need to add in. A few days, this will all be packed away and in boxes. And then I'll know what are my final things that will be going in my luggage. And then I have my camera bag right here. And also this one will be holding camera gear as well. A lot of stuff to pack. I have lenses, cameras, more stuff over there ton of stuff on the desk and then also a bunch of stuff in there so a lot to pack but so far so good we are off to our storage now we're gonna see how much we can fit in our little car which we've noticed that we can't fit much <laughs> so we actually have our big move on sunday where we got a huge huge truck that's coming and picking up all our stuff but for now, we're gonna go build our closets. Let's see if Jeremy's able to fit anything in this little, little trunk. There goes our little baby right here. All blacked out. I'm gonna miss this little Batmobile. Being good to us. We still have it for a few more days. First time, oh. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, so first time ever vlogging in the car in the car outside of like taxis and stuff when we're traveling but yeah first time vlogging 
in our Tesla, uh, which won't be ours for much longer. So pretty sad, but yeah, so we're gonna go check out our storage unit and do some things and uh, we'll share more. And this is our home sweet home. <laughs> this is where we will be storing all our stuff. Hopefully everything fits in here. Yeah, this is our new apartment actually. <laughs> it's big enough that we could put a bed right there. This is the first time that- Cal, I'll try here, look, I'll try here. Bed. And we'll be chilling, look at that. This is the first time that we will ever that we won't have a place to come home to. We've always, for the past, what, six, seven years that we've been traveling, we've always had a place to come home. And this is the first time that we won't have that. So we're just sweeping up. And then we're gonna put together our other closets that are gonna be right here. So we can have all of our stuff nice and neatly uh, laid out, easily accessible. So when we come from trips, come in, grab what we need, and then keep it moving. And uh, yeah, so this is our storage unit. Pretty spacious, and I think it'll do the trick, at least for now, until we figure out where we are going to live, whether that's abroad or who knows. So until then, enjoy the beautiful sweeping of Angie. And here we go. Storage is complete. Full and ready to be shut down forever. So, all right. <laughs> ah, almost left. Angie behind. Sure. <laughs> but yeah, storage is complete. Looks good. We just wrapped up. Go show them over there in the back. Good thing that we had some movers because this was a lot of work, but everything is wrapped up to the max. All the main objects, desk, couch, TVs, bed, everything. And then all of our boxes and our closets are set. So we're pretty much good to go. When we come from our travels, like I was saying, it'll be easy, uh, it'll be easy access for us just to get any clothes we need or anything like that. But yeah, that's it. That's it. Our belongings, our, our treasures, our precious items <laughs> are here and ready to go. So let's close it down for the last time. You ready? Together. Oh, together, two hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lock it up. We got one, two locks. Nice. That's our last full moon in Miami. Last one. It's a beautiful one. All right, so six hours later, and we've completed all of the moving. Quite a morning, but thankfully- It's finished. It's all done. And <laughs> this is the sixth time in Six? seven years wow. that we've moved. So I hope this is the last time for a very <laughs> long time, because I do not want to move again. And it is done. <laughs> officially over and so on Tuesday we fly out and our first destination is Madrid, Madrid. and <laughs> we're super excited to just be out and start this new venture yeah this is um, it's bittersweet we love Miami Miami is a special place for us this is where Angie and I met this is where our journey began so many beautiful moments that we shared here and not being able to come home uh, to this. It's gonna be interesting for a little bit, but I think ultimately, uh, like we said, we're super excited yeah. for this new adventure to see the world in a different way and find potentially a new home uh, somewhere else. So thank you guys. Anyone that's from Miami that has supported us, uh, we've met quite a few of you along our travels. 
Thank you for supporting us. Thank you to Miami for, first of all, bringing us together uh, and also just being uh, so good to us over the years. So many beautiful memories, like I said. So we love the 305. We'll always, this will always be home in our hearts. And who knows when, we, uh, when we'll be back. But <laughs> yeah, this chapter is closing. And, and we're yeah and subscribe <laughs> <laughs> to keep up with all our craziness that is coming up yeah um we love miami and my a we'll see you soon